Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto Under 20. The temperature here is 61 degrees. Yes, overnight, spring, thank you. Anyway, I digress. Um, sometimes um, I've heard the word, but I heard it yesterday in a friend's email that she was feeling peckish. I love that word. It's so British, it's so peckish. It's so, I had to look it up-ish. And so, it's a feeling a desire or a need for food, um, synonymous with empty, famished, hungry, chiefly British, and starved and starving. Related words, rapacious, ravenous, voracious, wolfish, <laughs> malnourished, underfed, undernourished, gluttonous, gormadizing, gormandizing, I love that, greedy, hoggish, insatiable, piggish, piggy. Hmm. I love that. So, if you're hungry and you can't quite put your finger on it, but you know that you have to have a little something, then you just might be peckish. <laughs> Try using that word and have people look at you and go, I, I don't have any clue about what you're talking about. So, sometimes I like very different words, eccentric words, and she used a very eccentric word. She's an old soul, so that's where she gets it from. So, right now I'm not peckish. Um, I've had my Bulletproof coffee. It is nearing 7 a.m. I'm out the door in a few minutes for my busy day. I will go to my meeting. I will go, I will come back. I got a couple of errands and um, Dr. Teal's is buy one, get one, no, get one half off um, at Rite Aid. So I'm going to go there and check it out. Um, they usually don't have the same selection as um, Bed Bath and Beyond, and especially this time of year, like people think there's, there's no more need for baths. What's what's that all about? Just like people that wouldn't dream of having hot coffee in the summer. Who are they? Hmm. So anyway, I hope that you're doing well today. Now, yesterday I watched a Weight Watcher, what I eat in a day, and then I watched a formerly keto, now paleo, what I eat in a day. And it was just very, very interesting to see the differences, to see the carbs laid out. And as some of you may know, um, I found a package of organic strawberries that looked so inviting at Market Basket that I bought them. And I am having 50 grams of strawberries today. And it fits into my keto under 20 carbs. And it's just, it's a seasonal fruit, it's available. And I'm just liking it. It's not that I'm going to be going paleo or back to Weight Watchers and eating six to seven fruits a day. I am just merely um, enjoying a, fr a real tasting strawberry um, after buying those dumb blueberries that were bitter and mealy and cost four dollars for four ounces. Yeah. So today I have my food all laid out in my tracker, my Lose It tracker and I'm having less than 1400 calories today but I'm having heavy whipping cream I'm having cultured pasture raised butter I'm having um, organic broccoli at lunchtime along with my 50 grams of strawberries <laughs> I'm also having for dinner collie crumbles I'm having spinach and I'm having organic green beans so I'm having plenty of the greenies um, for my day to day, so I'm very, very, very excited. I'm just happy to have warmer weather here. I will wear sandals to um, the meeting. It will feel good. And um, yeah, I'm just not, I'm not peckish. I'm not angry. I'm not hangry. I'm not frustrated. I feel um, good after my food yesterday. Um, and um, I plan to continue it today because I love momentum of a good thing. And um, if some of you are like me, you know that your strict, your strict tracking and weighing and measuring makes you feel safe. And that's how I feel. And it's been, you know, since December, it is now May. So it's been six months of me doing keto under 20. Before that, it was about 15 months of low carb high fat, which just meant that I had tons of Brussels sprouts and 
um, broccoli and cauliflower crumbles and huge salads. I still have the huge salads, though. Um, somebody commented yesterday, her name is Joyce, um, that my salad didn't look as big as hers, and it was like 150 grams of organic romaine lettuce and 40 grams of organic chopped um, red cabbage to bulk it up, and then adding in all the all the uh, other goodies like the almonds and the crumbled blue cheese and the mm, four ounces of filet mignon and uh, seven grams which equaled seven organic whole almonds it was a delicious salad and I, I was kind of thinking of doing it today but I decided for lunch to have broccoli two fried organic free-range eggs and four ounces of the leftover filet I'm telling you I eat like a queen and I love it so, I hope that everything is working for you guys and that whatever your goals are, you are slowly working at them. One more day into the can always feels good. So if you have a special weigh-in day or you have a special measuring day or you have a special try on these jeans to fit to see if they fit better day, I hope today is the day for you and it all works. Thanks so much for listening. This is Sarah. Pearls of Wisdom and Food, not peckish. Thank you very much. Don't you be peckish. Bye-bye for now.